final trade of the day, Todd Bubba-Horowitz joins me now to talk about Twilio. It was very hot when it came out as an IPO, yeah. but now the stock has really dwindled. I think that Twilio being in the space that they're in, which is the, the cloud computing area, uh, you know, that's a really hot space. Of course, no, nobody understands that that's really one of Amazon's biggest spaces as well. But investors don't like this. It's out of favor. Well, it, what happens is typically, you know, people chase momentum and if it's not going up, they immediately want to get out and they continue to, to look for the next hot play. To me, this is the next hot play. I think technically it held up and now it looks to be making a little bit of a rounding bottom here, holding in that 24, 25 level. That's why I'm looking to be a buyer here. Now I'm going to trade it and I'm going to buy it. Something important for viewers to understand here is that you are just trading by the look of the chart. The chart formation is a go for you. He's not even considering what the company actually does. So there are fundamental traders, people who look at what the company does. Will this company survive? How are the clients right. doing with uh, this product? 100%. But, you know, like you said, it's cloud computing, it's text messaging and other messaging, which right. is a big growth area right now. It's, look, fundamentals are good once you own something. You want to make sure that they maintain solid, strong fundamentals. But you always want to try to buy for technical reasons. That gives you a better chance of buying a good stock. So it's a buy for you, but also a trade. So yes. what would be your options trade? My options trade is, is simple. I'm going to sell this week's... Um, 2450, 2350 put spread and take a credit from that. And then I'm going to buy um, the end of June, June 16th, two weeks, three weeks from now, basically, almost about two and a half. And I'm going to buy the uh, one by two uh, call spread ratio. So I'm going to sell the, uh, the 20 and I'm going to buy the, excuse me, I'm going to sell the 24 and a half. And I'm going to buy the 25 and a half, one by two, and look for a big move from there. So what do you need to have happen to profit on this trade? Well, I mean, I'll make a, if it sits here and does nothing, I'll make profit. The only bad number for me is if it goes to 25.50 and sits there. That would cause me a little bit of heartburn, but the long options will hold some premium and I will collect from the put spread. So the worst spot for me is right on the number. Whenever you do these ratio type of spreads, the worst spot you could ever be in is at the long option right on the number because they have no true intrinsic value. Thank you for your trader talk today, Todd. Great to be here.